online, on the go. Fox Toledo, News at 10, starts right now. More than 100 years ago, slaves fought for their freedom in our country and finally overcame that hurdle. But today, some believe there's a new fight going on, staying alive. At this year's Juneteenth celebration, Toledoans not only remembered an historic day in black history, but also brought awareness to the community. Sharia Davis is on the scene with more. Yeah, it seems like all too often we hear about someone getting shot or killed in our area. But one Toledo father says it's time to stop the violence, especially in the black community, and start celebrating life. It's the oldest known celebration commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. Juneteenth, gotta love it. People in Toledo recognized the day slaves in Texas got word they were free back in 1865. But one booth in the midst of today's celebration brought awareness that there's a new struggle. It's been uh, a very hard process, but I know that I have to find a way to keep moving and try to have some kind of positive impact on um, the youth that's coming up. You see, Richard Alexander is the father of Romeo Alexander. Back in December, Romeo was gunned down after chasing a burglar out of his mother's home. Richard is putting together an anti-violence campaign, hoping to bring extra programs to the area to help prevent violence. If we don't get something moving as far as the youth go, we're going to all be affected um, by some kind of uh, violent crime. Sitting right behind Richard was also Sean Mahone. Mahone is the executive director for Young Men and Women for Change, a behavioral boot camp program here in Toledo. What we do uh, through our process is that uh, we break our kids down in order to build them back up. What do I mean by breaking them down? It's just stripping them from everything that's negative. The two of them met for the first time today. They're in the process of working together. Their goal is to help young kids be something positive in life before it's too late. Reporting downtown tonight, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News.